Hello and welcome to North London Allotment on this very gorgeous sunny April day. Today I'm going to be talking about mare's tail or horse tail. And here it is. This grows all over my plot. It's a problem on this um, allotment across the whole of the allotments. This bit is particularly bad because it was left. Now this, I think, is the female part. It's a paler colour and it comes up and it doesn't fan out like the green parts. But what it does is it lets off spores and those spores obviously will become new plants. So you have got to stop it doing that. Now what I'm doing at the moment is just going to get it put it in my box, let it dry out and burn it. You can't compost it. Um, you can drown it, but this stuff is a survivor. It, it likes to live and it's been going for millions of years. There's no easy solution. A lot of people try and use weed killer. It's very resistant. I think there is one that does work, but if you're an organic gardener like me, it's just not an option. Sorry, just doing some weeding while I'm sitting here. Um, so you just have to do what you can. Pull it out, um, no point digging, goes down really deep. You just have to be on your toes with it. You can't sit back and let it take over because it will. And this is a bed that, if we can get it in focus, there we go, has been covered in black plastic at least this year. And these, are still growing underneath. So I'm going to take all the heads off now, recover it, and worry about this bed another day. Here we go, more mare's tail. This is in a bed that hasn't been covered. It was dug over and left, and I'm just hoeing it over now. And you can see there's loads of these. And I think this oh, it breaks so easily. bits break off and that becomes a new plant and the problem is there's loads of it I mean this this part of the allotment last year was covered with mare's tail so I think in the next week or two I'm going to have to really really put my attention into getting this stuff there's no point digging down it goes down really deep it's a survivor from the prehistoric age it's hardcore but if I take the tops off I stop the spores I stop it taking over and eventually I'll annoy it enough that hopefully it won't come back leave any of it in there and you get a new plant I mean you won't get the roots but that's just the existing plant you're annoying if you drop one of these it's really good at growing a new plant from it so you end up with double the problem if I had put this in my compost they would have taken over by now so this is what I do with my Bag them up, them to dry out, and then I take them over here. I've had this smouldering all day, and I am burning my weed roots. Goodbye. 